Uncle Altu? What are you doing? Are you doing repairs on your house? Oh. Bark chops are the way to my heart. I mean, I know that Uncle Altu, but I have not been able to figure out how to get you pork chops yet. But all right. Oh, and Gwen, good morning. Good morning. Oh, and then, oh, it looks like Summer is thinking about her friend Rose. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spirit Fair, where we have our ever-evolving little village on the high spirit seas. And it seems that Summer has something to tell us. When I was healed, I didn't want to go back to my old life to the ways of poison and hatred. Rose had reminded me of my youthful love. Unintentionally, she had unveiled my eyes. I sold everything I owned, took every dirty penny I had ever earned. I bought a plot of remote land and started anew. I listened to the hidden songs of nature. When you listen, Stella, really listen, the plants tell you all sorts of things. What they like, what they need, who they love. Some call it biodynamic farming. I call it listening to the universal chant. I carved this little nest in the middle of the woods. And when finally it responded, when the flowers and the trees and birds started flourishing, stronger than they ever could with the touch of poison, on that day of the solstice when the hill was emerald green, well, that's when I asked her to marry me. Oh, my Aunt Rose! Heckin! That's really exciting! Oh my word! And also, yes, Gwen! Wow, we've got a lot going on this morning. Look, Stella, I... I'm sorry. I think I just need space. Just a bit of time by myself. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with you. You've been nothing but great since you found me on that island. I just need to be alone for a little while. Wait, what? Okay. Oh no, I hope everything will be okay with Gwen. She really apparently had a really, really, really terrible history with her family on that island. If she's that traumatized, I mean, it's the afterlife, you know? And she's still so worried about those things. But all right, welcome back everyone. Like I said, we're carrying on with building our little spirit raft. And today I actually wanted to see if we could make a sheep kraal. And to make a sheep kraal, we need to actually have a foundry. So. That's today's goal. Get this foundry built next to where Uncle Altu will be able to help us out and then see if we're able to get enough oak planks and possibly copper ingots in order to make a sheep corral and bring a little sheep along on all the adventures. So let's get this foundry made. Oh my word, it's huge. Oh my word, we can go up with everything. Um, okay. All right, we're gonna move some things around. Let's go ahead and move the guest house over here for now. And then if Gwen needs a little bit of space, actually, we'll move Gwen's... Well, Gwen wants to stay near, near her place where she can do her loom, I think. So I've got to think about this kind of carefully. Let's see. Okay, we'll put Gwen way up here for the minute because she's feeling a little bit upset about things. And then let's actually move... Uncle Altu's sawmill, maybe over here for just a minute. And then let's try building the foundry. Oh my word. I kind of feel like we should build the foundry like way over here so that the foundry is out of the way of the sheep corral. So let's try this. Let's try this maybe. This, this seems a little bit, well, I wanna keep the foundry away from all the people. So, let's put the foundry over here. Okay, new building! And everything got moved around quite a bit, but we'll see how this works out. Alright, what do we have in here? The foundry, huh? So, add a piece of copper. Finalize. Is Uncle Altu gonna help us on this? And then add a piece of coal. Okay. And then how do you make the two things go together? Let's see, copper, coal. Oh, and then now we add the copper, okay. And then over here, 
add some coal to add power. You've been naughty, it seems. A very useful mineral that can fuel the foundry and be used on the crusher to form carbon powder. There we go. I just needed to add more, more it seems. Oh, here we are. And then you have to run over to this side. Holy cow. I hope I can get this just right. Okay, all right, good. Okay, we wanna stay, gotcha. We wanna stay at a certain temperature. Okay. Let's wait, stay in the green in order to make the copper ingots. This is a, a little exciting. I hope Uncle Altu will be able to explain some of it to us, but I think he's more of a workshop, like woodshop guy. All right. Oh, look at all the copper ingots we got. So then we end up with three copper ingots. Okay. Let's put those in. And then we already have the coal that we've managed to find. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, this is exciting. We might be able to go and get the sheep. I'm not sure if it'll follow us, but we can sure as heck give it a good shot. All right, let's wait. Wow, this is amazing. Oh no, oh no, no, too hot, too hot, too hot. Okay, gotta wait for it to cool. All right, there we go. I don't wanna waste too much of the copper. It's a little tricky to find at this point. All right, almost there. And? Yes! All right, look at all those ingots. Now I think we'll actually be able to make something for sheep. This is really cool. All right, sheep. Now I just need the oak planks and we can indeed have a sheep corral, a place to keep your sheep from eating all your crops. How fine. Also, I do wanna try, okay, let's get the sheep corral going. Hey, uncle, are you hungry? Probably, I still don't have your pork chops. Sorry about that. But I can go ahead and give you, how about grilled fish? There we go, and a hug. And then I would love to help, wasn't that great favorite niece of mine? It was great uncle. I don't know exactly what I would give him, but maybe I can like gift him some things. Cause that would be fun if you're actually able to like gift him. Um, let's see, I need, do I need oak? that I think I need oak but it'd be fun if you could gift him some oak planks or something and make him happy all right just in case we'll cut a couple maple too there we go one more plus now that I think of well no we already upgraded all of the stuff that our good friend Gwen wanted I feel pretty bad for Gwen Apparently her dad was really, really, really a bad person. Or something. He left with some guy called Doug. An accountant. Their stories are just a lot more complex than I expected. Very human too. Not easy and cliche and the kinds of things that you just come to expect in these kinds of stories. Things that have real messy human elements to them. I was not expecting that for whatever we could get up to over here. All right, let's see. Sheep crown? Four more oak planks, okay. So close and yet so far. All right. And I think if we get uncle really happy, then he'll actually help us out with doing a whole bunch of this work. Hey Daffodil, I actually outran you, huh? But I really wanna see if we can sneak that sheep onto the boat. And this is weirdly satisfying, you know? Just being able to take care of everything. I feel really bad for Gwen though. I'll give her her space, but like part of me just wants to run in there with a bunch of coffee that she loves and just reassure her like, Gwen, I'm still here for you. But I wonder just how much space she needs. All right, let's build this. Sheep corral, oh, it's so tiny. I thought we needed like this huge big zone for it, but it's actually so teeny tiny and cute. Holy cow. Okay, that's amazing. The only other things we can build now are the windmill, which I need marble for and aluminum, which we haven't found. And also the orchard, which needs nebula thread, which we haven't found yet. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the foundry way down low on the ground here. And then I'm gonna move the sheep corral right in here, I think. Actually, I'm gonna move, yeah, we'll move the sheep corral right down next to the foundry. And then I'm going to move Gwen's house down again so that it's actually just right above the loom. There. All right, and while everyone else is sleeping, I'm gonna go to the island and let's see if we can attract a sheep to come join us on our ship. Oh, it's this one again. Thank you for taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. Yes, very nice to see you. And I think the sheep was further in on this island. And apparently there's mushrooms I can gather too. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for those mushrooms. And while we're here, might as well grab the trees. I really keep expecting like some sort of protective tree spirit to arrive and chase me out of here for being so audacious as to, uh, oh. Oh geez, uncle, you startled me. I'll be picking up some wood, hoping to do some work on these later. Uncle, I legitimately thought that you were like a mysterious tree spirit. Um, also, can I give him something? Like, maybe some wood? Would he like that? Do you want an oak log? I'm all right without that. Okay, so no, he doesn't want an oak log. I wonder what kind of gifts you can give. Food? <gasps> maybe the treasures! Like the weird little, little necklaces and rings that we keep finding. I don't think Uncle would want any of those. There! I thought these mushrooms looked suspicious. And hello, little sheep. All right, friend, I'm gonna try to get you to come with me. And now that I have fed you, <gasps> will you follow me back to the boat? Yes! Yes, I have my sheep friend. All right, let's see if he's actually going to come join us and get onto my little ship, because that would be amazing. All right, come along, come along. I have a corral for you, just waiting and ready to go. And then we can go back to the mountain, which is where Summer actually wants us to head to. <gasps> yes! We have a sheep! <laughs> oh my word. We have a sheep. And it's in the pen! That is ridiculously exciting. So now I can get this sheep to follow us. That is way too cute. All right, let's go ahead and go to sleep. And then we're going to, there we go, yes, can't navigate yet. And then we are going to direct ourselves over to the mountain where Summer apparently wants to teach us some very important lessons. And we're also going to see if we can bring that the sheep with us to join a friend or maybe convince the sheep to leave the island. That might be what we're supposed to do and come live in our sheep corral. I have a sheep now! Oh, what should we name it? I kind of want to name her Daisy. I know that's such a, a really cliche tradition to just name your animals after flowers, but come on. Oh, hey, and it's Francis the Wandering Merchant. Um, do I want to visit with him? Oh, he has the odd seeds. Probably want to go ahead and visit with him, but I really want to get over here to the mountain. Apparently there's a bunch of rear chest, a sheep, coal, slate, iron, copper. I've only just begun to find things. All right, we'll go over and visit with Francis. Just cause it would be great to grab a few things. Yes, there we go. At the very least, and it's not gonna hurt us to spend a little bit more time with him. I do need to go get more seeds at some point too. How delightful. Let's plant some lettuce. Maybe I'll be able to go ahead and risk trying to... And I'll leave one spot for the odd seeds. There we go. And here we are. Back at the falling star spot. I really wish I knew what this area was all about. Good to see you again. Here, let me actually come down and gather a few of these empty shells to sell to him really quickly. I love meeting with him too. I feel like Francis has a lot to teach us about life. Just taking things really casually. 
enjoying your time. There we go. And we'll buy from him, not an old shoe, but the one odd seed that he has to offer. And we'll go ahead and sell these empty shells. Not my mushroom, very excited. Considered a veggie when cooked in the kitchen. All right, and then I'm gonna sell to him the sawdust as well. I don't think I have any of the other treasures right now, unfortunately. No, not my maple log! One must use caution when speaking to Francis. And then any errands? Oh, if we, a treasure map? Oh look, and if we give him the cup of tea, governor, if we give him corn and coffee beans, he'll give us tea seeds, absolutely. If we give him carrots and turnips, he will actually go ahead and give us lettuce seeds on it. If I give him nebula cloth, he'll give us quartz. If I had bright jelly, he would give me citrine. That's so cool. He really wants that sockeye salmon. And a treasure map in exchange for copper, iron ingots, and coal. I'll remember that, Francis. I will remember that. For now, though, I think that's all of the goodies. Oh, I can buy back. <laughs> I'm buying back that, that log. That's really important to me. All right. So we visited with Francis. We now officially have a sheep. Let's head over to this spot. And I think that our big adventures are going to be starting very soon. There's a lot of unexpected things right over on the horizon to the west that we haven't investigated yet. All right, let's come on over. Water everything real quick. Nobody really seems to like these shooting stars except me, so I won't wake everybody up until we're out of it. And then let's put down some more coffee beans, just in case. There we go. I wonder, I wonder what is going to happen with the curious case of the sheep as well. Good morning, uncle. I'm thinking. Pork chops are the way to my heart. I know, uncle. Maybe I need to do something with the information that we've gained about a food order location. There's somewhere where we can actually order food and I'm trying to remember where in one of the cities. All right, so let's figure out what to do about this sheep situation here. Wait, are we not at the sheep sheep spot? I think we're almost at the sheep sheep spot. Little bit more. There we go. Oneness and wholeness. Let's see. Talk to Summer at the pier. Oh, so Summer's ready to go ahead and do something. And then head over to Bottom Line Corp. We need to check on the protest. We also need to find a second sheep and escort it back to the enclosure. All right, so summer first and then the sheep. But we'll have to work on that next time because it seems like everybody is waking up and ready to go. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our adorable new little sheep. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.